Hello traders, in today's uh, daily video analysis I will talk about the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar and about the high probability selling setup because um, it's a rebound, it's a leg higher, swing higher, could be only a temporary one. Here is the disclaimer, please read it, you can email support if you have, uh, if you have questions. And don't forget guys, um, if you want to, to join us, if you want to, to become a VIP member to get all my trades, trade management, you um, you can access the link posted right below this video or you can use this link from here you can uh, type it manually in your uh, in your browser um, and for only 35 pounds per month you can become a VIP member as I've said to get all our trades trade management um, content VIP content videos webinars tutorials data news a lot of uh, analysis and uh, let's talk about New Zealand dollar US dollar as I've said that um, after its massive uh, massive drop sell off a temporary rebound was was natural was expected and um, as you can see here in my opinion the bias uh, the bias remains bearish as long as it stays below the the downtrend line here right now is located far below this uh, downtrend line but uh, uh, personally, I've drawn here on ascending pitchfork one, two, and uh, and three here test retest of the lower medium line before uh, um, before extending its uh, its rebound. But right now, as you can see here, it has failed to um, to approach to reach at least uh, 0 0.6379, this uh, former high, and um, yeah, here it has printed. Um, it has increased as much as 0 0.6375 and here it has failed to, to hit to approach to reach 0 0.6379 and um, right now it has failed to stay above the medium line of the ascending pitchfork. Uh, the medium line acts as a dynamic resistance, only test retest false breakouts here and uh, in my opinion staying here below the medium line of the ascending pitchfork, I don't know, test retest false breakouts and below um, the former highs here uh, it could signal potential potential sell-off, okay, a potential a potential sell-off in the in the short term. So um, here I'm looking for a new uh, selling setup. As I've said, the bias remains bearish uh, as long as it stays below the the downtrend line. And also here it has failed to um, to make uh, a new higher high. And in my opinion, only a new higher high could signal potential growth at least towards the downtrend line or uh, to signal also a valid breakout and uh, an upside continuation. But in the short term, and as you already know, the dollar index has um, has rebounded. Let's take a look on the dollar index. It has uh, it has rebounded after uh, finding support here on the on the lower medium line of the descending pitchfork and the potential uh, potential further growth here taking out this uh, resistance zone um, moving um, higher towards the medium line could uh, could force the US dollar to um, to appreciate versus its rivals so in the short term guys here on uh, on New Zealand dollar US dollar the the currency pair developed something like a, like a triangle pattern here so a uh, personal wait for the price to escape maybe from this pattern because i don't want to i don't want to to place um, a buy stop here only because uh i don't know it could register only false break breakout and then to drop yeah maybe i will look for for potential shorts as i've said earlier this could be only a temporary rebound and uh, as long as it stays below these former highs below the medium line i will look for for shorts and um, I'll wait to see, maybe, uh, okay, we can use uh, also uh, 0 0.6334 as static, static support, guys, okay, maybe, um, even if maybe the price will escape from this triangle, it could, um, it could move uh, maybe uh, sideways uh, within this, uh, within this range pattern, so um, I need a valid breakout from this, from this range pattern, from this range pattern before I will take action. So yeah, as I've said, I will look for, for potential shorts, but I would like to see here test retest, false breakouts or something. A new lower low could activate a potential setup. So uh, yeah, um, if I'll have confirmation that the, um, the New Zealand dollar, US, US dollar will uh, develop a, a downside movement, a new sell off, I will um, share my trade. Um, because right now um, I'll wait for confirmation also here also on Australian dollar US dollar my Australian dollar US dollar um, sell stop remains valid yeah that uh, setup is still is still valid that's why uh, maybe I'll wait here also for confirmation before I will uh, I will take action because I don't want to to do, to double down uh, to double the risk on the on the US dollar right now but yeah I'm looking for shorts and uh, test retest false breakouts here could signal a potential uh, downside breakout here um, new lower low and the uh, downside 
continuation. So I'm looking for shorts here in New Zealand dollar, US dollar, and I will come back with my with my setup into the VIP uh, group uh, later. Uh, okay, thank you guys. Don't forget to, um, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. Learn to trade Forex signals. Thank you.